In today's video, we'll cover the following topics. The photo approval process and how it can be used. Approving a photo and releasing it. Rejecting a photo and deleting it. And setting a photo for internal review. Photo approval is a powerful feature from CardExchange Cloud that can be used in a few different ways. The idea behind having a photo approval process is so that the controller operator can verify a photo contains the correct person and that it meets the criteria of the organization's photo policy. While today, we will be looking at this from the perspective of uploaded and captured images through controller, with the STAN subscription, the cardholder can upload pictures themselves. This allows for an organization to become more efficient in gathering the images needed to print on badges or to be used on the stand's virtual ID. There are a few issues that can arise from letting users capture their own photos, such as the image not being of good enough quality, it not being a photo of themselves, or they could be wearing hats or sunglasses which may go against the organization's photo policy. This is why we have included the photo approval process feature. Clicking on the Photos tab on the left-hand side will bring you to the Photo Approval screen. After you have enabled Photo Approval and have updated the photo of a person record, then you'll need to check the Photo Approval screen to either approve or reject the photos. You'll see a few tabs at the top that relate to the Photo Approval process. The first one that we'll discuss is the Pending tab. If you have multiple records here, you can search for a particular record by typing into the search box at the top and then pressing enter. If you have it set to compare against a historic image, then all the photos that have been updated will show alongside with their previous photo as we see here. Alternatively, you can configure it to compare against an ID document that the stand user uploads to the app. Our system will compare the two photos and will give a percentage match. You can click on a photo to make it larger. There you'll have the option to be able to make changes to the photo. If you want to view both photos in a larger pane, click on the eye icon to the right of the record in the list. Once you have evaluated the photo, you can either choose to approve the photo, reject the photo, or send the photo for review. Alternatively, you can press the Cancel button and do the same actions on the overview screen. To approve a photo, you can either click on the Thumbs Up button to the right of the record in the list, or you can select multiple records and then click the Approve button at the top. Clicking on the Yes button will confirm to approve the photos. Likewise, to reject a photo, you can either click on the Thumbs Down button to the right of the record in the list, or you can select multiple records and then click on the Reject button at the top. Once you click the Reject button, you're able to select the reason for the photo to be rejected. Then click on the Reject button, and your photo will be rejected. If you're unsure what to do with the photo and want someone else in your organization to review the photo, then you can set it to be reviewed by clicking on the pointing finger icon and to the right of the record. Like with approving and rejecting, you can select multiple records at once and click on the Review Photos button to move them to review. Click on Yes to finalize and send it to review. Now let's look at the other tabs in the photo approval screen. Clicking on the Approve tab will see a list of the photos that have already been approved. To use them on a printed badge or a stand virtual ID, you will need to release them first. We can click the records that we want to release, and then we can click on the Release Photos button at the top. It'll ask us if we're sure we want to release them, and we can click on Yes to finalize and release the photos. Clicking on the Rejected tab, you'll see a list of the photos that have been rejected. If you're sure that these photos should be rejected, then you can delete them from the system by checking them individually and then clicking on the Delete Photo button at the top. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to delete the photo, and you can simply press Yes. Lastly, we have the Review screen. This works the same way that our Pending screen works. You can either choose to approve or reject each of the photos at one at a time, or you can do them in bulk by selecting multiple records and clicking on the respective button.
Thank you for watching. In today's video, we covered the photo approval feature as well as the stages of photo approval. Please like and subscribe to see more videos on our products.